Shot was a little high. That, uh, that adrenaline, it'll get you. Have mercy. I'm gonna give her some time. I think I heard her crash, but we'll see. 
<clears throat> all right everybody on YouTube uh haven't went back there to look for that doe yet I'm waiting on my cousin um Tony Murphy uh, aka Dalton to get here see if we can go in here and track that old slick kid pretty sure I heard her crash maybe if I had to guess about 40 or 50 yards the shot could have been better but I haven't shot a deer in such a while with the bow, you know, the adrenaline just, the excitement got me, so. Hopefully it did the job, though. Um, we'll see. Like I said, it was a clean pass-through, but shot could have been better. Alright guys, so if you're still watching this video, um, couldn't find the doe. Could not find her. Uh, we, me and my cousin, we looked and we looked and we ended up finding blood and we tracked it for about 30 yards if I had to guess. Um, but ended up going cold. The blood trail went cold, so, um, Anyways, what I'm doing now is just double checking the bow. I mean, I have a pretty good idea of what the issue was yesterday. I was just the adrenaline, doe fever, and um, being able to make another video, it just it had me excited. You know, the whole hunt just had me excited. So, um, anyways, that's what I'm doing right now. So, I'm going to let the camera look down at the target I have down there. It's a 30-yard shot. So, um, let's see what happens, all right? Yep, I can tell you right now, it was all me. Well, here's the arrow that I shot her way last night or yesterday. There's dry blood all along this arrow. Yeah, I felt pretty good about the shot, but then after not being able to find her and you know not finding as much blood as as I needed to you know me and my cousin we looked for a while but never found her blood trail went cold um, so based off of shooting that one arrow at the target at 30 yards and it being basically dead nuts it just tells me that I wasn't steady all the way through the shot yesterday on that doe, so it can happen to anybody. You hunt long enough, uh, anything can happen. I hate it, you know. I, I hate it that I couldn't recover the doe, but it is what it is. It's part of hunting. I pride myself on shooting 
good with the bow. I'm always practicing at 50 yards, but it happens. It'll happen to everybody. If it ain't happened yet to you, it's going to. So, just a prime example to me that I just need to keep practicing with the bow and making sure I have that steadiness there all the way through the shot. Um, anyways, uh, this is Mark Smith the second with Smith's Outdoors Adventures. Be bringing you another one here soon, God willing. So, we'll see y'all later, alright?